and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the top cards, I believe, that need an upgrade in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now, there's quite a few cards that are open for debate for this one. But I picked the guys who even, and some guys are going to be like, he has a card. But I'm telling you, some guys are playing so well, they need a better card than that. Some guys just haven't gotten a card in quite a while, and I'm kind of surprised. Maybe they'll be getting into most feared, maybe right after, maybe with the Blitz promo. We'll see all that as time goes. But I have a pretty good list here. This isn't really much of an order. I put them 1 through 9, 1 through 10-ish, but there's not really an order. It's just I just listed them that way because I can't really define one card needing a card more than another one. But it's a pretty good list. Got a, I got a few running backs in here, some defensive players, some offensive players. Trying to make it more balanced, as balanced as possible as I could. I kind of leaned heavier towards offensive players. And I want to put AB on this list because I feel like Antonio Brown always gets a card, but with the allegations against him and um, not playing in the NFL right now, maybe he won't be getting one. So I kept him off this list for that reason. Although I was really this close to putting him on there. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go hit that subscribe button, boys. We are 130 subscribers away from 10K. We can make this happen today, boys. Everyone that's new here, just hit that subscribe button. There's 130 spots left in the 10K squad. If you're an OG, comment down below how long you've been here for, how many subs you started out here with. Guys, and come join the 10K squad for everyone new. Come join the family. Hit that like button, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. And comment down below who you think I snubbed from this list. Make an all-time snubs list down below in the comments of who I should add to this list. And all your favorite cards that haven't gotten cards yet. So let's head over to the block. for. Uh, let's start off with number 9. Well, like I said, numbers don't really matter here. But this guy, I can't show you his better card because it is going to be a card that you can't acquire from the auction block. It's going to be Marshawn Lattimore. He does have an 80, I believe 85, um, that, that like starter program card you can get, like the Juju, the Matt Ryan. He's got an 85, but that card just has speed and no coverage stats. Marshawn Lattimore is balling out in real life. He should be getting, he should be getting an upgrade at some point. I feel like he's a most feared kind of candidate. He could definitely be getting a most feared Marshawn Lattimore card. I hope so. He's a, he's a great cornerback and have great speed, good athleticism, good coverage stats when you just come out. He's a really good corner in real life. Hopefully he gets a card soon. Not much more to say on him because I can't show you his other one. Another guy who I believe should be getting a new card soon and he has not gotten one yet, which I find kind of weird, is Earl Thomas. I believe Earl Thomas has, I don't know if it was a theme builder, but he does have his 86 here. Uh, I don't think it was Earl Thomas with the theme builder, but you get the point. Earl Thomas is one of the best safeties in real life. Although I have a vendetta against him after having him an ultimate team the first month of the year and him getting trucked over by every running back, getting mossed by every wide receiver, getting trucked by every tight end. I have a vendetta. I will never probably use Neil Thomas again, but he is a lockdown zone guy. His next card should have decent athleticism, decent speed. He's in the Ravens now. Hopefully he gets a card in the near future. I can imagine there's plenty of Earl Thomas fans in my, uh, watch my videos. So to all you guys, hopefully he gets one soon. Another guy, this is the guy I was thinking about the theme builder. Adrian Amos Jr. He has a, he does have a theme builder, but Adrian Amos, you guys all know, he typically is a good blend of speed, height, coverage, and hit power. He can pretty much do it all, and usually he can do it all probably pretty well. But his theme builder card probably has a little, it's definitely better stats than this. But I think Adrian Amos should get one soon. The Packers are one of the best defensive units in the league, if not the best defensive unit right now. They're really clamping up on defense, and it's a big part of big part of it's the secondary, which Adrian Amos is a part of. So hopefully he gets a card soon. You guys all know, Adrian almost gets some really glitchy, glitchy cards. So I can imagine that he'll get a nice one in the near future. Although the issue with Adrian almost is that he's a strong safety and we all have Pat Tillman. So that will definitely limit the upside of how much we can really get hyped on his card. Next one is Le'Veon Bell. Oh, this might be hard to find. Where is he? Right there. The issue with Le'Veon Bell cards always is they never give him good stats. They always give him low trucking, low break tackle, low speed. They just give him like high agility every time. So they every single time. They don't even give him good catching. I'm praying this year they get it right. Maybe they give a most feared Le'Veon Bell. They need to give him speed, right? Because watch, they're going to give him a most feared Le'Veon Bell. They're going to give him an 88 speed. Watch. Cap, mark my words. A new Le'Veon Bell at like a 93 overall will have like an 88 speed. When guys like Saquon, Cook, and all those other guys already have higher speed than him. And that's why you can never use him. They oh, Le'Veon Bell is like Alvin Kamara in Madden. They never give him a high enough speed. And I understand, like, in real life, they're not the fastest running backs. So they're, they're probably, like, one tick behind. They're, they're more acceleration and quick guys. But the issue with that is, is that, okay, fine. So if Saquon, so if Saquon has a 90 speed powered up, Le'Veon Bell should have, like, an 89 speed powered up. 
But remember, I understand that people are like, oh, but like Saquon's way faster than Le'Veon Bell. Okay, Saquon's faster. I get that. I get running backs are faster than Kamara and Le'Veon Bell. But they're not that much faster. And not to mention, these cards are getting new cards. So like, Kamara just came out as one of the newest running backs in the game with a lower speed than lower overalls. Now, I get the fact that they're like, in real life, yes, that makes sense. But this is a video game where they're higher overalls. A 92 Alvin Kamara should not have a lower speed than an 89, 88 running back. It just shouldn't happen. And that's what they always do with Le'Veon Bell. They give him a bad truck. They give him bad trucking stat. Oh, I'm sorry, I said that again. Break tackle. They never give him a good speed. I at least give him the catching. They don't give him that on this card either. Hopefully, his next card gets exactly that, guys. I'm praying for that. Let's just hope. The next guy's a guy that you're going to say exactly what I think is that he has a card already, and that is true. But with the way this guy's playing, he needs more cards. Christian McCaffrey is on pace, guys. On pace for 2,650 yards from scrimmage. It was 750, but he had a bad game yesterday. Well, not a bad game. He just had a low yardage game, which he could easily tick back up with a really good game. But as an Isaac, on pace for like 2,700 scrimmage yards, which would break the all-time scrimmage record. He could potentially break the all-time rushing record in a season. He could break the all-time scrimmage record. He could get 26 touchdowns this year. He's playing special this year. He's having one of those historic seasons. Every year, someone has some kind of season like this. Not to this level, but they have some kind of season. And Rich McCaffrey is it this year. He's having that season, guys. So, he needs the respect. All they gave him was this 90 Redux card or 90 Limited Time card. It has low speed, good catching, low break tackle, low trucking. Christian McCaffrey is a monster right now, and he does not get a 50 truck or 75 break tackle. If you guys have been watching McCaffrey, I think he might lead the league in broken tackles. I think he broke 16 tackles last week, and his break tackle is 75. No, no, no. He may be white. He may not look the biggest, but trust me, he's jacked. And he, he plays much better than he, than he sounds to most people. Trust me. If you watch any of his games, these stats do not do him justice. They need to all be higher. I've seen this guy make one-handed catches left and right, more like OBJ. His catching should be like an 86. His break tackle should be like a 90. His speed should be a 90. This guy's broken like three 80-yard runs already. Trust me, they are underrating this card crazy low. They got to really fix that. Hopefully, they do in the next update and the next new set of cards. We get one of those. Now, Tom Brady is a guy that I'm not going to personally use this year, but an 88 Tom Brady, you have to imagine getting a new card soon. Every base elite has gotten a card so far. Every base elite, top base elite. Bobby Wagner got his card. Hopkins got his card. Uh, who's the other one? Khalil Mack got his card. Donald got his card. Tom Brady is like the last of the 88 base elites that have not gotten a card yet, so you know he's getting a card soon. If you guys really thought he was a worthwhile investment, you could get him as a power, but I really don't think people are going to care for Brady that much. He should, uh, his next card should have all above 93 accuracy besides throw deep. He'll have 93 short. He'll probably have like a 93 throw short, 94 throw mid, probably like an 86 throw power, 85 throw deep, 91 play action, 84 play under, uh, throw under pressure, and 76 the throw on the run. I don't think the next card that Brady gets will be worth it because it's going to be the same card in essence. He's going to have the middle of the medium threshold and the short threshold while still having low throw power deep and throw under pressure, low throw on the run, and decent play action. The card pretty much just gets better at what it's good at and not much better at what it's bad at. So, I don't really anticipate that card taking much of a jump, although he does deserve an upgrade. Next on this list is a running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers that he had a slow start to the season, but that's kind of attributed to the stout run defenses and the bad situation of injuries on his team. He's definitely deserving of a better card. James Conner only has a 79 overall gold card. That's disrespectful. James Conner is definitely better than a base elite gold. That's ridiculous, guys. I believe James Conner should be in line for an upgrade at some point. He does have this ultimate kickoff, which I guess kind of throws a, like a, a wrench into the whole situation. Because I know that these ultimate kickoffs, in essence, upgrade. So does that mean that those cards won't get upgrades for weeks? I don't know how that works, guys. I'm still going to toss it out there that I think James Conner needs some kind of card. Because they did mention that they won't go into their power-ups until this thing's done. So maybe that's implying that... To word this properly, maybe that's implying that if they they don't go into their power-ups, that they will get other cards, and they can't be attached to this card just yet. I don't know. But James Conner doesn't even have a power-up, but hopefully they make that switch in the near future. And last on the list, but certainly not least, a guy that you guys probably all love. Uh, I don't think if I type that in, that's going to work well. Oh, it did. Ezekiel Elliott. 86 overall running back. Guys, come on. I hate to gas up a Cowboys fan right now, but Ezekiel Elliott is a top five running back in the league. Arguably a top three. Arguably a top two, although I don't believe so. Now, Ezekiel Elliott has low speed, low trucking, low catching, low elusiveness, low excel, low agility, low break. Hey, this card sucks. I, I called it one of the most overrated cards. We all know Zeke's getting a new card soon. I have to imagine. 
have to imagine it will be most feared card. Ezekiel Elliott, either most feared or blitz. Last year, they gave Ezekiel his first big upgrade during the blitz promo. He hasn't had a big blow up spot yet or week where he can get a team of the week. So I think that last year they gave it to him during Halloween-ish or Thanksgiving-ish with a blitz promo. I don't know how they'll be doing it this year. I imagine he's either getting a most, he's probably getting a most feared card, right? They can't keep Ezekiel Elliott at an 86 all the way until, until Thanksgiving. So if you guys are wanting your Zeke, his power up is sort of expensive, but because that's because people know he's getting a card soon. He has to. There's no way he doesn't. Ezekiel Elliott. Every other running back in the top's gotten one, right? McCaffrey's gotten his upgrade. Saquon's gotten his upgrade. Kamara's gotten his upgrade. Uh, Melvin Gordon's gotten his upgrade. Aaron Jones has gotten his upgrade. Um, a lot of guys. I can't think of anyone else right now. But a lot of the top running backs in the league have gotten their upgrades already. And Zeke's like the last one not to get one. So you have to imagine he's going to get one soon, guys. But that is about it for the video. I hope that you guys do enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's hit 10K subscribers. Huge moment for the channel coming up hopefully tonight if you guys go crazy or tomorrow. doesn't matter, though. I'll still be excited no matter when we hit it. But thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Comment down below who I snubbed from this list that you think should be on here. And that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.